Hello, friends. 2 p.m. It's Bible study time. Time for us to get together for our regular study of Genesis. We're going to wait for a few folks to um, come into the building or into the room uh, for us to continue this study. Um, I hope you've had a magnificent day. Um, I know I have, and I'm super thankful to be with you as well. Remember, this Bible study is a... Um, it's a uh, uh, conversation, and so um, if you uh, have comments or thoughts, um, go ahead and chime in, and I will get to them in the order that I can get to them. Hi, my friend Joe, Brian, Felicity, Mike, Colonel Davis, Cindy, and Jean. Um, I'm. Is it? Mary Lynn or Marilyn? I want to make sure I get it right. Hi, Cheryl. The Lord be with you. And how are you going to tell me if it's if which one it is when all you can do is type? It's tough, tough, tough. Hi, Linda Kemmel. Linda, the Gurdons were in church here. They moved up here. So um, I got to see Bobby and Judy. Uh, on Sunday, they were here. So um, a little bit of Baton Rouge home cooking uh, up here in north of uh, north of Shreveport. Ah, Marilyn, thank you. Well played. Well played. Nice. All right, Marilyn, the Lord be with you. Now I don't have to sit here and wonder how to pronounce your name. I, just so you know, uh, want to make sure I get it right. Don't want to, don't want to be wrong there. All right. Time to get rolling, shall we? Uh, we stopped in Genesis 17. No, I'm not working on a beard again. I uh, just didn't shave on Sunday. One not shaved on Sunday. And then I immediately regretted it because they wanted to take a picture for the wall. Um, and I'm dripping Diet Pepsi, Diet, Diet Mountain Dew here. They wanted to take a picture for the wall. And sure enough, um, uh, <laughs> oh, the men set me up to be the blunt of their jokes. Um, anyway, um, so let's, let's continue on. I want to go back just a little bit to, um, uh, guten tag, Grace. Good to see you. Uh, Priscilla, Elvis is in the building. I want to go back to verse 11. And the reason why I want to go back to verse 11 is, is specific to, um, to something that, I, I, I meant to, I said it, but I wanted to, I want to go back and say it better. Um, what I mean is, is you shall be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskin. It shall be a sign of the, the promise between me and you. Now, um, this word for sign I remember singing, I saw the sign. Um, this word for sign, um, uh, 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 is used earlier. Uh, it's used in with, um, well, I'd give you a chance to guess it if we were in Bible class uh, physically. Um, hi, Maggie. Um, but, but the sign is important and I'm going to stall while you guess it. This word was used earlier. This word was used, um, and I thought about it and then I remembered, I didn't actually say it. So to say, think something and to say it are actually two different things. Um, this was used with Noah. The bow in the sky is the sign of my covenant with you. You got no control over the bow in the sky. It just appears. 
Um, hi, Suzanne. Um, so the, the, the bow in the sky just appears. Um, in the same way, this is not a quid pro quo covenant. I'll do this for you. You'll do this for me. I'll be your God. I'll give you a, be a great nation. I'll do all these things for you. And you'll be, um, you'll get circumcised on the end day. Hi, Donald. Good to see you, my friend. Is that New York State? As you can see, while Thor's getting his, uh, his LSU blankie cleaned, the New York Mets blanket has taken its place. Brenda's in the house. All right. So, um, but what I want you to see is this word is used earlier. This is, I'm going to do all these things for you. And the sign that I've done all these things for you is circumcision. Like, I'm never going to destroy the earth again by fire. I'm not sorry, by fire. By water. <laughs> he didn't promise not to destroy by fire. That's coming. Uh, but he is, he is going to not destroy the earth by water. And the sign of that is the bow in the sky. Hi, Jennifer. The Lord be with you. So don't take this as a... But don't take this as we're going to make a deal and the two of us are going to make this deal and the deal that we're going to make is going to be um, um, the is 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 going to be all about um, all about what you do for me and what I do for you. What you do for me and what I do for you. That's not the way this is going. Nathan, the Lord be with you. Nathan's name means gift. We're about to have it in, in, in Hebrew. So um, I, want, I, I want you to make sure that you see this not in this sort of agreement between parties that are equal and you do my, your thing and I'll do mine. I want you to see this as God giving gifts and those gifts are received. That's important. That's very, 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 very important. Okay? Okay. Um, eight days, circumcised. Every male throughout your generations, whether born in your house or whether born of money, born of a foreigner who's not of your offspring, born in, uh, but he is born in your house and he who is bought with your money shall be circumcised. And again, this is not okaying anything uh, uh, any social custom here in the, I don't know, 4,000 BCs. Um, this is, good morning, Sue. Mom's in the house. Um, oh, Will Robinson is here. Uh, Will, thanks for registering for the uh, virtual conference. I saw that you had registered along with uh, Jennifer and um, uh, um, uh, Jean. Of course, I would have expected Jean to register because Jean... Eats, sleeps, breathes, higher things, media. It's like she's family. Um, I want, I, 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 this is not an okaying of the purchasing of individuals, but simply laying out that if the person is in your household, they should be circumcised. And God needs to do this because of the sinfulness of men. He needs to spend a chapter telling us who we aren't to sleep with so that we, um, so that we we don't just say yeah, there's an addendum, so we don't hand the covenant to um, uh, our lawyers to find out what we need to do. So it's just I just want you to to to, to take this in that that this the specificity and the repetition that's required here is for our sake, because because we won't we won't show his covenant, we won't show his promise. Um, and so they, um, um, so what we need to do here is, 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 is sort of revel in that. Um, make sure you get Brenda registered. So do help Brenda out. Brenda needs to go to the virtual conference. Um, the one born of your house. So shall my covenant be in your flesh, an everlasting covenant. 
So you're wearing the covenant, which is wearing the promise. You're wearing the promise. That's what's going on. Wearing the promise. Any male who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin shall be cut off from the people. He has broken my covenant. Which is like, this is like, um, I told you to look at this like baptism because it's what it points to. It points to baptism. And um, it, 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 so if you are, if you believe that Jesus died and rose again for you, you're baptized. Baptism is not something you get around to. It's something that you do because you believe. Or you are baptized and God delivers faith to you. So to say that you believe in Jesus but not be baptized is to deny what Jesus did for you. Uh, it's to deny what's what 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 all that Christ did for you. I don't know what the hmm is, Terry Lynn, but I want to help you as best I can. Okay? Um, uh, so the idea that you would be like pro-Yahweh but not be circumcised means you cut yourself off from the covenant. So I'm going to be your God. I'm going to make you a great nation. I'm going to make you uh, kingly priests. I'm great with that, uh, Jesus. But, you know, I'm just not going to... The whole thing, it's so very... Yeah. Well, that doesn't work for God. Um, That doesn't work for God. Now, Maggie, what a great point, though. When it comes to baptism... Baptism does have a, vi a visual sign, too. We are watermarked. Um, see what I did there with the um, with baptism? But we're watermarked. We are marked with water. Thanks, Newman. Right. Um, and that's why... Oh, let's have some fun. Take just a little excursus. Um, why does Luther say that the first thing that you do in the morning is make the sign of the cross? Why does he say that? Well, um, well, you, Terry Lynn, you're wearing this covenant too. Let me get to it. Um, uh, you get up in the morning. You get up in the morning. Um, and... No, I'm getting there, Felicity. No, 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 no. You get up in the morning, you make the sign of the cross. Before your mind starts kicking in, before you start singing to you, my baby takes the morning train, you, you make the sign of the cross to, to remind yourself or to mark yourself whose you are. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Before your brain kicks in, before the coffee, and I've learned, from experience of being around the higher thing staff and, and Lutherans that I don't drink coffee, but Lutherans are not great before they have their coffee in the morning. Holy smokes. I'm sur surprised that we're not given coffee here um, during the pandemic uh, that I'm not dead. I told them to bring their own so they don't kill me. But but like before, before the God of the coffee bean. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Sandra Madden. Loving your neighbor. I drink coffee to love my neighbor in the morning. Not because, not because I need it. So, baptism, which is the new circumcision, which I think... Um, all of it was... Did I really sing Sheena in Easton? Oh, I, I, I'm really, really sorry. It's whatever's in my iTunes feed. Um, uh, the... Uh, this, is, this is what it's pointing to. This is what it's all pointing to. We see it incorrect... Uh, incorrect, incomplete, and a shadow with circumcision. I'm going to be your God, and you're going to get marked. 
Okay. Um, but the, the reality, the big deal is baptism. Um, I want you to get that, okay? The other thing that Lutherans love more than coffee is talking about how much they love coffee. So I've lost the Bible class. Um, but uh, I, I, want, I want to make sure that you grasp this, okay? Paul says in Colossians, which we did, so I don't have to go there. Paul says in Colossians that baptism is a, a circumcision done without hands. You are watermarked. Marked by by the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and 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 Cheryl, you're ex absolutely right. While you could think that circumcision is something you do, baptism is something God does for you. But I can't talk about this anymore because I'm one of the plenaries for the virtual conference, and I don't want to give you all my material beforehand. Um, there's one other thing. So, want you to catch this. It's not your end of the bargain is bat is is circumcision, and my end of, end of the bargain is I'm going to make you a great nation, and I'm going to be your god. It is I'm going to be your god, and the way that you show that I'm your god is to is to be circumcised. Okay. I hope that it's a sign of the covenant, and and. Do you have to be circumcised today? No. Christ was circumcised in your place. That is um, the uh, that is New Year's Day is the celebration of our Lord's circumcision, where he where he um, where he where where he sh first shed his blood for us in his keeping of the law for us, and also. Sir, uh, New Year's Day, being the celebration of our Lord's baptism, is the most cutting-edge theology day of the church year. I'm so proud of myself. You could see that it was developing in, in my coconut uh, that I was going there. Uh, anyway. So, you cut yourself off. You're not being so not to be circumcised is to say that you're not for me, Yahweh. So the idea that that you're cut off is that um, is is that uh, 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 you've cut yourself off. I want you to think of this the same way you would think of absolution. Um, when when pastor what what when. Uh, when somebody's retained sins, I said cutting off, cutting yourself off. Um, when somebody's sins are retained, you could view that as a, um, uh, you could view that as a. When 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 Pastor Newman retains sins, you could say that he is closing heaven for the person. Or you could say that the person has already closed heaven for themselves, and he's announcing that reality to them. Um, uh, so to to cut yourself off, and I and this language is definitely used in order to sort of be punny in verse fourteen, um, is that you've already cut yourself off from the family of God. You've already done it, and so. You being cut off is that a re, a, a, an announcement of the reality which you're already doing. Which is hell, by the way. You don't want God as your father. You don't want Jesus as your savior. Well, here's the universe that you're already living in. I do believe there's a, a hell. I got a four-page single-space letter saying that I don't. It's, it's absolutely, literally absurd. There is a hell. Now, why some people would want their... Ooh, why do we want help? We want help for other people. Other people need to be concerned about hell. I'm going to be all right. But Newman, 
We got to watch Newman. That guy's definitely trouble. So hell is a place designed for the devil and his angels where we get what we really want, a universe without God, where we're God. And it's an unpleasant place. And it's not the heat or the cold that does you in in hell. It's the absence of the presence of the loving God who saves you. God said to Abram, as for Sarai, I just spit on the filter. As for Sarai, your wife, you shall not call her Sarai, uh, but Sarah shall be your name, her name. Maggie is telling me that I, 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 uh, that I need to um, uh, stop in the name of love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Maggie. Um, get onto a different subject other than circumcision. Um, as for Sarah, your wife, you shall not call her Sarah anymore. You shall call her Sarah. Sarah means princess. Does the tiara come with it? I don't know. But um, uh, Abram's the Abraham is the father of many nations. Sarah is the princess. She's going to be the mother of many. I will bless her. Moreover, I will give you a son by her. And I will bless her. And she shall become nations. What an interesting thing. So Eve was the mother of the living. Sarah's the mother of nations. Daenerys Targaryen is the mother of dragons. But we'll get to that. Um, and kings of people shall come from her. So Sarah is going to be the mother of kings. Sarah is going to be the mother of, of, of nations. And again, this is a sort of ironic considering that um, for a good Jew, for a good Jew, um, the nations are, are synonymous with sinners. And, 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 and here, already in Genesis 17, we see the for allness of God. God is not just going to be for people of a certain bloodline. He is going to be for all. Oh, you're going to love this. Both Jean and Joe and Sandra are going to love this next verse. Abraham fell on his face and he yikzog. Um, he laughed. Uh, this word right here. Uh, there it is. Right there. This word right here um, is the same word. Isaac. So Abraham fell on his face and he Isaac'd. That's what he did. That's the Hebrew. He Isaac'd. Past tense. I always love when folks get mad at me for this. I don't like it when you noun verbs. Well, get over it. Because Hebrew does it. German does it. Just, you know, four page, single space letter, please. I'll save you the space, though. I do believe there's a hell. I just don't understand why everybody wants people to go there. I would think you would want everybody to be saved. Anyway. Um, so... Abraham hears this. Sarah's going to be your wife. She's going to bear a son. She's going to give you a son. I'm going to bless her and I'm going to make her, make her, um, she's going to become nations and kings of peoples shall come to her. And he, Isaac, he laughed. You must be joking. And he said to himself, Shall I'm not going to let Newman upset me by invoking Butel. Shall a child be born up to a man who is 100 years old? 
And remember, Sarah is 10 years younger. My mother, my mother was 10 years younger than my dad. And my mother used to say, I'm significantly younger than him. Then she started counting backwards. And so I have no clue how old my mother is because she started counting backwards. I, I don't have any clue how old she is. But I know how old Sarah is. Shall Sarah, who is 90 years old, bear a child? So this is Abraham, the man of faith, uh, the patriarch. And what does he think? He thinks God's promise to him is a joke. It's laughable. By the way, God does bless. Um, the scriptures are full of God's love for those who are barren. For, for, for Sarah, for uh, Rachel, for Hannah, for Elizabeth. Um, uh, <laughs> Felicity's making jokes. See, I just isaac there. Yes, yes. And Will, you are right. I love the intimate relationship between God and Abraham. Uh, yeah, yeah. God, uh, uh, I, I like this next verse too, 18. Although it's very, very strange, it's very, very human, okay? And Abraham said to God, um, uh, would that... Isaac would be, I'm sorry, would that Ishmael would be before you. What I love about this is, um, what I would love about this is that, is that this is real. Okay. This is real. Um, while the talk of Isaac causes um causes uh, 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 uh causes Abraham to think of someone important to him his son Ishmael and so this this I actually like this because it it confesses in a very clear way something about Abraham it's real it's very real um Um, of course he cares about I, uh, 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 of Ishmael. Ishmael's his son. Um, I like to call Ishmael Ishmael Snow. But um, uh, of course he cares about Ishmael. Um, I guess it would be more appropriate to call him Ishmael Summer. Anyway, of course he cares about Ishmael. And so he's going to bring Ishmael up to God. I guess not knowing what that, that Hagar had had a conversation with God a chapter ago. But God corrects him. Verse 19. God said to Abram. God said. God said. Um, uh, indeed, Sarah shall bear you a son. And you shall call his name just so you know, you shall call his name Isaac. And now you see, like, when I, when I highlight Isaac's name, um, I, got the, I got the software to show me other uses of the root for Isaac. And there we are up there in verse 17, when he fell on his face. You know, I'm going to have to change my view of Hebrew. I'm going to have to start loving Hebrew. Because Hebrew is full of all the puns. You shall crush his head. He shall crush your, um, your, there's a pun. Hebrew is full of, Moses is a very, very funny man. I will stand up my bereath between him, with him as an, everlasting covenant for his seed after him. So Isaac is the guy. Isaac is the promise. Isaac is the line that heads to Jesus. Isaac is the guy. Um, 
Yes, I know Hebrew rocks, but when all of you get to heaven, it's going to be Latin. And that's why I learned Latin in college. Anyway. Um, I never thought of... I mean, this is hilarious. Hilarious. Um, yeah, laughing that the impossible could be done. Uh, so, what about Ishmael? I love Ishmael. Well, Isaac. Isaac's the child of promise. Isaac's going to be born. Uh, a, a son's going to be born to Sarah. His name will be Isaac. He laughs. I will stab. I, I will stand up my covenant. I will stand up my covenant with him. I'll set it up. I'll establish it um, as an everlasting covenant for his offspring, for his seed after him. Verse 20. As for, ooh, making a good time. As for Ishmael, Behold, um, I have blessed him. Um, I will fruitful him and multiply him uh, exceedingly. Oh, mightily, mightily multiply. He shall father 12 princes. It's an interesting... Um, 12 chiefs, um, and I will make him a great nation. Now, 12 tribes for Isaac, 12 chiefs for Ishmael. Um, don't miss, though, that the church is moving through um, Isaac's line. And that doesn't mean that God doesn't love Ishmael. He loves Ishmael, and he and he wants to bless Ishmael. Ishmael's going to be a... Um, I will not... Translate fruitful for you. Felicity. It means, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, all I can do is think of Marvin Gaye songs to sing, so that's not going to happen. So, um, he loves him. So there are like two things going on now, Luther makes a, makes a point of saying. There's this covenant between, um, a, a fleshly covenant, literally, of circumcision. And then there's this promise that's moving through the line. The fleshly covenant is for Isaac's, for Abraham and down. Um, the, the promise is going to go through Isaac. And then he reiterates it again. Now, look, Ishmael's going to be big. Big, big, big. Okay? Most scholars think that Ishmael is the father of uh, the modern day Arabs. Okay. So, um, it's going to be big. Um, and he's going to be, there's going to be conflict there. All right. Um, but don't take your eyes off of what's going on. Don't focus too much on, um, I said fruitful, didn't I? I thought I did. If I didn't, it was mine. But he reiterates it. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna set my covenant up. I'm going to make stand. I'm going to establish my covenant with, with, with Yitzhak, with Isaac, whom Sarah shall bear to you at this time next year. And when he had finished talking with him, God... He, um, he, he goes away from, upwardly, from Adam, from, from Abraham. So, so God having a conversation with Abraham, Abraham, and after God's done talking, he goes up. He departs. He sins. Okay. Um, what follows next is everybody getting circumcised. And I want to get to that. But first, 
I want to make sure that I do two things. Um, one is remind you uh, of how important your church is. Okay. Uh, give to your church. You guys who are from Emmanuel, uh, make sure that you continue giving to your church. Your church gets by. Um, well, every church first. Every church gets by with the gifts of uh, their um, of their parishioners. So don't stop thinking about tomorrow when it pertains to your church. Uh, it'll soon be here. It'll be here sooner than you than you think. Uh, yesterday's gone. Yesterday's gone. So make sure that you continue giving your offerings to your church. Okay, your church first. Your church first, um, and give it online. Give it and the like. Churches need it. Like I have. Friends of mine who are looking for calls now because uh, their parishes are imploding, schools are closing. So make sure that you give today. Also, um, when you have some left, um, give to other organizations uh, that are in need. One of which is 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 higher things. Remember to give at higher things. This is hosting this Bible study for us, allowing us to have this time together. Um, during this pandemic. So make sure you give today. And that higher, higherthings.org, um, give. Give today. Hit that button and give today. A tax-deductible gift goes a, far, a long way in keeping this gospel going. I don't get paid for this. That's how tight of a ship um, they're running. I just told them that I wanted to do this Bible study for the folks that, at Emmanuel and higher things like, you know, we'd love to pick that up again. Well, while they're using, spending money on the software and stuff like that, it's good to give. Okay. Uh, my congregation's getting by on the gifts of others. We got a gift from, from Indiana today. I don't know. There's somebody setting up a, an online giving to give from Indiana. Great. Give today. All right. Back to the study. Um, There it is, Jacoby. Thank you. Um, Ishmael. Um, Abraham took Ishmael, his son, and all those born in his house or purchased with money. Every male, according... Um, Every male among the men of his house, there they are, all the men of his house, um, and he uh, cut the flesh of the foreskins that very day, just as God told him, uh, God worded him to do, okay? Okay. Um, he doesn't wait. He doesn't get around to it. Starts cutting. Uh, I want you just sort of a reminder of, of this event that occurs very strangely in Exodus, um, which is um, um, which is that Moses has all these interactions with God, uh, but isn't circumcised, and so all of a sudden in this after. After sending him in all of this, God comes after Moses. It's one verse. Like God wanted to kill Moses because Moses wasn't circumcised. And so Moses has to get circumcised and everybody in his family has to get circumcised. Because, um, look, Philistia, it's not my fault. This is what the, this is the text. So everybody's going to be walking funny in Abraham's house. Um, this is serious. God, this is the sign that they are saved. Like baptism is the sign that 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 we're saved. Their their sign is circumcision. Abraham was ninety nine years old when he was cut in the flesh of his foreskin, and Ishmael, his son, was thirty years old. I'm sorry, thirteen years old. One and three. When he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin, and that very day. Abram and his son Ishmael were circumcised. So the repetition is important to make it clear to you that Abram was circumcised, Ishmael was circumcised, everybody in their house was circumcised, just as the Lord had commanded. Just as the Lord had commanded. Everything that the Lord said, they did. Just as he said. And all the men... of his house 
uh, those born in his house, those bought with money as a foreigner, um, were circumcised with him. This is great. God says, I'm going to save you. And they say, okay. This is, um, this is uh, the Ethiopian eunuch. Um, here's the, <laughs> the Ethiopian eunuch in Acts is literally reading and driving. He's, he's, he's driving his chariot and he's reading a scroll. Hopefully somebody else is driving, but okay. Texting and driving is bad. Reading the scroll is bad. Anyway. <laughs> uh, he hears the gospel from, from Philip and his immediate reaction is, there's water. Baptize me. That's the way of faith. The way of faith is God gives a gift. We are in the receiving end of it. There's water. Baptize me. The way of faith here is God's made a promise. Cut me. Um, uh, uh, that, 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 that's the way of faith. That's the way of promise. Um, and again, the promise, the, the the circumcision doesn't isn't their end of the bargain. The circumcision, <laughs> smart chariot. Um, the circumcision is um, the sign of the covenant. This is the sign that God's their God. All right, tomorrow, chapter eighteen. Um, eighteen tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel as we will be continuing Genesis. Um, remember Monday, you will have uh, Pastor Harrison Goodman. Love that guy. You will love Goodman. I make a prediction. After Goodman, you'll be like, I don't want you anymore, Borkart. We give us Goodman. Um, we had we had we had great food when we were with Goodman, and we have you know puns from you. Uh, uh, as good as Goodman would have been Hall, fun times. Um, I didn't, um, I, we can get him to cover too, but the, but, but what I want, what I want, what I want you to, 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 to meditate on is, is, um, is the great gift of this, which is, is God makes promises. God makes promises and he promises to save. And he promises his end, if, if this covenant fails, his end that his, he will die. He will die. He will die. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, Goodman is kind of bouncy. You're going you're gonna to really like that. Um, uh, if we ever get, we'll get Hull to cover too. Uh, Hull is like sort of Southern Georgia, Georgia Southern voice. He's he, 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 he very easygoing. And, and everything is fun times. But um, Goodman is sort of bouncy and jerky, and it should be fun to, um, um, should be fun to do that. Tomorrow, 2 p.m., same bad time, same bad channel, all gift. We'll see you later.